Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. Today we are going to discuss on how you can standardize tags using AWS organizations using tag policies. So let's first understand what are tag policies. So you can use tag policies to maintain consistent tags, included the preferred case treatment of tag keys and tag values. So tag policies are like a uh, type of policy that can help you standardize tags across resources in your organization accounts. In tag policy, you can specify tagging rules like uh, which are applicable to your resources when they are tagged. So for example, if you want to tag, if you want to make sure and apply a tag policy for let's say volumes, okay, or for your EC2 instances, in a particular organization, then you can uh, use tech policies. So here is an example. So for example, a tech policy can specify that when a, when a cost center tag is attached to a resource, it must use case treatment and tag values that the tech policy defines. Tech policy can also specify that non-compliant tagging operations on specified resource types are enforced. So in other words, non-compliant tagging request on specified resource types are prevented from completing. I will show you how exactly it works, how a non-compliant tagging request are denied. So untagged resources or tags that are, are not defined in the tag policy are not evaluated for compliance with the tag policy. So this only applies to the new tags that you are going to create. It's not going to apply with the existing tags. So I'll uh, walk you through to the AWS Management Console and we are going to create a tag policy in AWS organization and I will walk you through the process. So here I am logged into my AWS Management Console. I will uh, quickly go into AWS organizations. Okay, and uh, here I have uh, this is my organization structure. I have a root account and these are my development production accounts. So uh, what I'm going to do is I will uh, quickly navigate to policies. Under policies, you can see that uh, there are service control policy and tag policies. So we are more interested into tag policies. So I'll quickly into the, uh, click on that. You can see the status that it is disabled. So first you got to enable that. So click on enable tag policies. Okay, so it's enabled now. Now click on create policy. I will name it as a, a tag policy for cost center. Okay, and uh, leave the description for now. Uh, it is gonna ask you for the rules. So what the tag key you are gonna uh, you want to apply so I want to apply cost center okay and uh, I'll use the capitalization so I want to make sure that my cost key is exactly like this uh, along with that there is tag value compliance so click on that you need to specify the values what values are compliant I'll add some values like uh, the cost center is broad production or maybe let's broad and uh, I will add one more value QA okay and or maybe let's keep some values like account and uh, account and uh, development something like that okay just for the test purpose click on save so these are the values that this uh, new tag when I'm gonna create a new tag it's going to allow and this is the key that it go, it's going to look for if, if this key is not found then it's definitely going to give an, an error on that it's, it won't allow you to create a tag okay so uh, let's uh, click on this prevent non-compliant operations for this tag so here uh, you're going to select the resource types uh, remember one thing if you are not going to select this it won't apply any tag policy like it won't enforce any tag policy on your resources so click on uh, this prevent non-compliant operations and 
we are going to select volumes so basically we are interested in ec2 volume okay click on save changes uh, you can select more resources if you want so it allows a uh, lot many resources that you can select you can see some grayed out resources it won't allow you to select but if you expand it's gonna give you a, a child uh, options that you can select okay but for this demo we are more interested into volumes so which i've already done like c2 volume okay i'm gonna save changes and uh, i'm gonna click quickly create, uh, click on uh, create policy so now what what it's gonna do is it has created a policy we are uh, uh, it has not applied it to your organization okay so you got to click on it click on actions you got to attach this policy okay so this uh you can attach it to your organization structure i'm going to select my root structure okay and click on attach policy so now our policy is attached it's uh this is the uh, policy document the content so as you can see the tags what tags it's gonna allow it's gonna allow the cost center tag what values in that tag it's gonna allow these two values account and development okay and what this policy is enforced for it's enforced for ec2 volumes okay so i quickly open ec2 volume ec2 in next tab in a new tab okay So here we have we are into ec2 dashboard i'm gonna go to navigate to volume section all right and i will create a new volume yeah keep it as a 1 gb just for test purposes i'm going to delete it just after that we are more interested in adding tags so i will add tag like cost center okay i will add some uh demo value like testing something like this okay and i will click on create volume you see this error message right that the tag policy does not allow the specific value for the following tag cost center so here we are allowing only two values right which is account and development and the value that we have entered over here is testing which is not in that list that's why it is denying to create this volume and this tag so uh, let me quickly put a value which is in the allowed value and click on create so it has successfully created my uh my tag sorry for the disturbance i forgot to mute that email but uh, it has successfully created this volume with the tag that are already there in the uh, in the allowed tags, okay, which are applied in my policy. So that has been successfully created. Now let's try to uh, create a new volume again. Uh, let let me go to manage tags. Let me try to change this. So even if you edit right, if you are editing an existing tag, it won't allow you to do that. Okay, but yeah, again, if you are going to change the key. Say like uh, cost. So now I'm uh, adding a tag, less costing. Okay, and I uh, will add it some test value. Okay, and then I'm going to click on save. It's going to save because it is not a part of the tags, right? We, we what the rule is basically, it's going to allow this uh, for this tag key allow only these two values. But if you are going to use a different tag key, it will allow you to save. Uh, there is a, a video that I'm going to record that enforces you to, you know, use only this particular tag for your resources. And it's going to enforce that you are, you must create a tag for your resources. So in my next video, you will be able to see. But for this, for, uh, for this uh, tag policy perspective, keep in mind that for any exist any new tag that you are going to create or if you are going to edit any existing tag if your tag key is this cost center or uh, or whatever you have applied to the, your policy 
it's going to look out for these two values. If these two values are not there, it's going to uh, give you that error that I showed you. I that this one. Let me again click on that and pause center test. So it's going to give you this error. The tech policy does not allow you to uh, allow the specified value for the following tag cost center. So that's it for this demo. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you again. Bye.